Hey guys, today we're gonna to look at three 14 inch fast crashes from Zildjian. The three symbols are gonna be a K custom, an A custom, and an A series. So let's talk specs first. Over on the A series symbol, this is described as having a paper thin weight, traditional finish. Zildjian says that it has a uh, brilliant full body sound. The A Custom, similar to the A, except that it's got a brilliant finish. I find that the brilliant finish tends to cut back a lot on the overtones. And then of course we got the K Custom over here. This is actually described as having a traditional finish. This one is actually thin, whereas both of these are considered paper thin. So this one's technically a little bit thicker. And of course the hammering is different. So this kind of looks like it almost has like a, a standard spacing for the hammering going on, whereas this one looks like a uh, kind of uh, hand hammered. I, I think Zildjian actually does machine hammer for all the symbols, even if they look uh, hand hammered, but it looks more randomized than your A, uh, your a custom style symbol. Two last things to note. Um, the K, I would expect it to be a little bit darker, maybe a little bit drier than the A custom and the A. I also checked the pitch real quick and I believe the A series was the highest pitch and the K custom was the lowest pitch. But once we start playing on them, we'll be able to confirm that. So now I'm gonna beat up on these, these shiny new symbols a little bit for you. I'm gonna start off with some mallet work, just striking them each, uh, maybe some cymbal rolls. Then I'll switch over to sticks, uh, striking at the, the edge of the bow in the middle, near the bell, on the bell, just so you can hear tonally how the, the sound changes. Um, I'll do some normal strikes, some chokes, and then I'll start to play some drum beats and I'll incorporate the cymbals in.
So my initial thoughts, first, I think that the A series was a lot lower in pitch than I originally thought it was. The K, I think, won the battle as far as how fast the cymbals were. Uh, just to me, it just seemed to have the, you know, once the volume peaked, it seemed to drop off uh, much quicker than the other two. As a matter of fact, I would say that the A Custom almost didn't really sound that fast of a crash. The A series a bit sound a little bit faster than a normal A, but the uh, the A Custom seemed to have uh, just a, a, to me at least, an, a normal amount of sustain. I will also say that the uh, the bells on all of these are, are really small, so you're probably not gonna be doing too much uh, bell work on them. If you're striking the cymbals, once you get up to like the halfway point, there's is really not that much volume on them. So if you're hitting on the top, you'll want to kind of keep it towards the edge. As far as, uh, you know, tonality, as far as how the cymbals sound, uh, they all sounded really good to me. I don't usually go uh, fast crash kind of route. Um, it's just that with the 14 inches, it's hard to get cymbals that are not fast crash. So for me, actually, the A Custom not being too fast of a crash is is kind of appealing to me. I would say though, that one of the big deciding factors, at least for me, is because I have so many cymbals, I wanna make sure that the pitch is not too similar between any two cymbals. So here I usually have my 16 inch crash and here's my 14. I wanna make sure there's a good pitch difference between the two. So is there any 14 inch crash that's your go-to? If so, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.